So I choose my topic is about being confident in yourself. Uh, these students or your classmates say uh, it's most difficult thing for her is to choose the topic because he tried to do many different different things she never done before. So uh, for her to choose the best topic in on their on her English talk will be what is the most important moment to make her be more confident. Okay, so maybe you will uh, try to do something different and experience more things and then uh, you will to reflect the every moment, choose one for you is the most important time. I don't know how to show my emotions to others. I'm not good at showing my emotions to another one. So, uh, and the audience will not know my feelings. But the teacher used ChatGPT to help me improve my sentence to make it more creative and humor so that the audience can get my emotion correctly and I can have a connect with my listeners. Uh, good looking and uh, confident in front of many people. But you want to show the touching part and you have to show your inner feeling, right? Okay, and we will use the different way like a teacher will use ChatGPT to correct your English grammar and also it will help you to practice your English word and pronounce, pronouncement. Okay, thank you, Vivian. I did English TED Talk. I didn't have much trouble on choosing topic because I've always wanted to share you guys my imperfect side. But uh, I think the hardest part is to contend. It's really hard for me to make you guys understand what I'm trying to say. And I think there's no shortcuts. Just practice, 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 and practice. And that will that make you successful. She means there's no shortcut. You don't have uh, any path to get easier to finish what you want to be. So just keep practicing. And the most uh, hard, uh, the hardest part is to choose your topic and show your uh, show your speech clearly and confidence. And at the first time, I'm I'm kept thinking about the experiences that impressed me. And the second part is to memorize your script uh, again and again. Because when you stand on the stage, you will be nervous. So that you, you must be have a good control of your script. When you have to control yourself on the stage, you have to practice more. And also, you have to get familiar with everything on the stage and then you can be yourself to be easier to show what you want to say. Because I think my speech doesn't have special. So because some of my classmates have seen part in their speech and some of them have dancing part. So I wonder what are the features in my speech? So I try hard to put more emotion into my speech. So you correct and uh, change your topic many times? Or just decided on just this one? I wanted to talk about this one for the first time. Oh, why? What's your topic in Chinese, in Mandarin? Just not get shy, be shy, right? Be sh now don't be shy and embracing challenges from shyness to shiny. 就是他用了一个呃从音字从害羞 shyness to shiny 好去去闪耀。但是为什么一开始就决定要讲这个？因为你算是比较特别的，就是五位里面，你是第一个蛮快就很坚定跟我说，啊、嗯，我就是要讲这个，只是怎么样让你的东西看起来比较不一样，然后怎么深刻，就是一个自己进步的历程吧。因为我七年级刚入学的是的时候是站在全班面前讲话都会怕的那种，所以你觉得这是你最大的变化，来到陆江之后。
It's also the best of the TED Talks presenters. But however, I still have one more question for teachers and for all the students. I want to ask is, imagine when you were grade seven, can you imagine that after two years, you can stand in front of all of the classmates and share your feeling about how to do a TED Talk. What makes such a great change for you? And uh, how can you make it? And what is the most enjoyable part that in, you <coughs> enjoy during your school life? So first of all, I would I'd like to ask Jolene. Because uh, you know, when I read the words, I say, oh, her name is Jolene. And I imagine, yes, Jolene is also a very famous female singer, right? And I love her so much because Jolene, both singer Jolene and you, they always love to challenge themselves and always to put themselves to a better self. So, I mean, so what makes such a great change for you after two years that you can stand in all of us, share your feedback? So, what's the change? When I was the seventh graders, I also, when I stand on the stage, I also feel my hand and leg is shaking. And I'm really scared because I'm not confident enough to stand on the stage. But in this school, you will have many chances to stand on the stage and share your, uh, share your own life or some, something different. So I think the most important part is I know how to catch the opportunity for myself. And I will always challenge myself to stand on the stage. So now, maybe in this school, I stand on the stage more than 20 more times. So I become more confident than before. Also, love dancing so much. And I know when you do your TED Talk, you also share some performers, right? So, I mean, how do you overcome, overcome the fears that uh, you might to make some mistake, but you still give it a try? So, tell me about uh, how do you want to make a dance performance without fear, and how do you overcome your difficulty to make it? Uh, when I prefer my TED Talk, I want to add a part of dance in my TED Talk because Dancing is always my hobby, and I will. I when I dance, I feel very happy and confident. I don't feel any fear about dancing on the stage, and I'm looking for it. So when I when I do my TED talk, I don't feel any fear about dancing on the stage, but I very I very enjoy it. Um, I'm curious about uh, will you feel more? Fear or feel no more nervous when you dance or talk in front of many people. Why? Because uh, dancing in front of another people and talking in front of another people, talking just you just read your your paper and but dancing you need to show your big emotions and your big move to others. But whenever when I do a talk, I always show my body pose, I always show my feelings, I always show my whole spirit. So for me, that's all in one. Develop your confidence, I mean, just right now. Because I remember when you just graduated the elementary school, the first day I saw you, I think it's a very tiny girl, <laughs> very cute, but very tiny and very shy. But uh, after two years, when you stand on the stage, I would say, oh, oh power, okay? And uh, charming. So, uh, I'm really curious about uh, the journey, how you have your own confidence because many students they would like to know how to promote our own confidence so in your ways can you share that with us 
，就是一开始在七年级的时候，我一开始知道有这个课程，然后我就很担心我会自己会做不好，然后我会很担心我站在台上我会不会什么话都说不出来。可是到了就是渐渐在长大的时候，哎，尤其在这所学校，就是。提供我们很多舞台，然后因为我希望我可以在这个时候，在我的 TED Talk 的时候，不要那么的紧张，不要那么害怕，什么话都说不出来，至少不要让自己丢脸。所以我在八年级一开始的时候，我就做了很多尝试，因为我也喜欢跳舞，所以在一开始的时候，我就踏出了我的那一步，然后呢，选择去。跟我的几个伙伴，然后一起站上我第一个就是表演给大家的舞台。然后在这之后，我就开始发现，其实好像站在大家面前也不会那么的害怕，就是会有紧张，但是更多的会是兴奋。所以，呃，我想告诉学弟妹们，就是说，如果你害怕，你就踏出那一步，你不要再犹豫说，哦，我就是。不可能做得到，或是怎么样的。可是每个人都有成长的时候，然后在你成长的那个时候，你就是要踏出去，你才会更进步。所以你的意思是说，在过去两年里面，你会自己先准备好。虽然你很害怕，即使到现在心脏还是一直跳，<笑>但是你会去 push 自己，就是说，今天如果有什么样机会。然后你就是勇敢去尝试，反正你认为那就是一个成长过程，并没有所谓的完美这件事，是吗？对。Oh, teachers,、uh, girls, they have better speaking skills than boys. Do you agree that? And、uh, do you think、uh, how to stand out、uh, to be the top five? Okay, share that. I think.、Uh, 中文、英文都可以，自在就好。我觉得每个人都差不多，然后不是就是就是呃，有努力的，就是结果都不会差太多，就是都可以很好。这位同学在讲你们这些男生有努力，成果都不会差太多。这位男生嘛，继续。就是。呃，不要去想，就是讲了之后会有什么，呃，会发生什么意外还是什么，就是当专注当下，把你想要表达的情绪，还有你想要讲的内容，把它讲好，不管结果是怎么样，就是反正就先讲就对了，不要去想结果会怎么样。OK，OK，、okay, okay, remembers all guys, all boys, remembers. Hard work will finally pay off as long as you try it. Okay, from shyness to shining.、Uh, and you say、so、you are not a person that you can be very comfortable to stand on the stage and share your opinions, right? But somehow、so、you are also the person that represent our school to have the English. I um, mean, speech contest for the county wide, right? So I, I, I really think it's a great achievement. And、uh, last time at the competitions, when I saw you on the stage, I didn't see the girl who was very shy. Otherwise, I see a girl with full of confidence and with. Full of spirit to share the, her speech, and even you have the role play, right? You you have role play. You play two roles to make a conversation. I think it is really is、uh, very very spacious. I really want to know how do you overcome the, the fears to stand on the stage? Yes, and from shyness. 去 shine。一开始其实就是那时候七年级的时候歌唱比赛就想说去当筹去筹备小组，然后筹备小组的时候就要上台跟同学报告一些东西嘛。然后的时候就想说，哎、欸，我不想上去，然后就问同学说，哎、欸，你上去好不好？然后呢，问的那个人就跟我说，哦，不要你上去。那我就没办法，我只能硬着头皮上去啊。那上去次数多就觉得，哎、欸，好像还好，没有那么可怕。就是比较会去想要尝试新的东西，那去尝试新的东西当然一定很可怕。譬如说那时候练那个
演讲的时候，他说在现在的八年级面前，八十几个人面前，整个角落在抖。现在脚还在抖。你这意思在告诉你什么？不要只有各位同学，不要只有看到大家光鲜亮丽的一面啊。那你们看到人家是 Top Five， 我还报九年级，你觉得人家很厉害？可是即使现在，即使拿着麦克风，每一个人心还是在一直狂跳，然后呢，脚还是在抖，他们的紧张跟你们都一样。可是问题是，他们愿意面对自己的恐惧，而且踏出去。我觉得这个是在一个很棒的不同。OK， and about the Ladarsis, then I would like to ask, as the teachers of the TED Talks. What's your reflection and what's your feedbacks about this curriculum? And when you see the students' performers on the stage, do you have any touching moments as a teacher that every hard work can finally pay off? I mean, I would like to hear your feedback. Um, before talking about the reflection and what I learned from them, uh, I have to be honestly speak about <laughs> All teacher in the title curriculum, we also have to prepare our own English talk. And some teacher also in our TPD club to practice oral English speaking. They try to speak English to share, express their idea. Even though they are Mandarin, math, or a PE teacher, they all want to try. So the spirit or the craft, the um, inspire this this thing inspired me on uh, why we have to um, just stay your own comfort zone or stay the place the stay in the, your house in your part to be um, feel so comfortable and don't want to try other things so um, every time when I want to um, try different thing like every student we are not think different Oh, we all humans, so we will feel many different kind of emotion. And maybe uh, when it just uh, stand here, you will have many time to want to go back. Oh, I want to give it that. I want to. I don't want to try it anymore. But after that, we will feel a pain, a big a sense of achievement. We will feel wow, we can make it. So the different feeling will push you keep going, keep trying. So uh, what I learned from them, or the reflection from the curriculum, it is about, I'm not just feel touching, but also um, I'm so proud of them and proud of myself. The proud, we that us want to keep standing on the stage. Yeah. Okay, so I would like to say that every one of you, uh, whenever you have already experienced that talk, Oh, uh, you are going to experience the TED Talks, I mean, so for next semester or oh, next year. So, uh, TED Talks uh, is a very important curriculum that uh, we would like to promote all of your st speaking skills. But most part of it is we want to promote your inner part strengths because you need to overcome a lot of things like fears like anxieties, everything like that. But however, it's also like a learning journey.